All of these cases depict uh, the complexity of uh, medical legal investigation, the work that is involved with forensic pathology and the people that we work with, the information we receive from homicide detectives that is so important, uh, the <clears throat> toxicologist doing the drug analyses on body tissues and fluids, the criminalist uh, with all of the trace evidence uh, um, is so very, very important. And then sometimes as needed, the forensic anthropologist, if we've got bones, the forensic odontologist, if we've got to deal with dental work and bite marks and things of that nature. Um, um, and um, then other areas that may come into play, uh, surprisingly, uh, sometimes even question documents uh, and so on and other forensic people that we work with from time to time, including forensic nurses, et cetera. So uh, the, this is a very exciting field. And I um, commend uh, um, all of the faculty and administration here at Waynesburg for having brought you folks together and the kind of programs that they um, present. It's a marvelous thing and uh, it shows uh, a real sense of um, academic uh, fervor and, and a desire to make this kind of contribution by introducing all of you uh, to this field and uh, hopefully inviting you to walk through the doors in future years. Uh, very, very fascinating. And those of you who like the field of forensics but don't like blood and bodies, you can think of the other field. There's forensic nursing, uh, there's forensic accounting, uh, forensic psychology, and so on. You don't necessarily have to deal with uh, bodies. Um, but um, I'm not going to spend time on this because I'm sure you've already been told about the different educational programs, what's involved, and what would be entailed as you move ahead um, in your academic studies in college, university, and then later on with graduate programs.